What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about something that happened to me and my trainee today. This is Noah. He's over there driving. It's his last trip uh, before he becomes a professional truck driver on his own. We're headed to Pete's, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh, Leechdale, I believe. Right outside of Pittsburgh. But um, what I want to talk to you about today is what happens if you get the wrong trailer or the wrong paperwork or somebody leave, relays you the wrong stuff. And we had a little almost a mistake happen earlier and i'm going to go over that with you but first if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you get any value from this because we're going to teach you things that the cdo school does not teach you because i want you to be prepared as a truck driver so first off i'm going to explain to you what happened today and then we'll go over some other situations and like i said if you get any value from this hit that thumbs up button let me know in the comments if it's ever happened to you or anything similar to this okay all right let's get into it today we were uh, at the yard and I was waiting for a load that goes up here to Pittsburgh. And uh, a local driver was a great dude, uh, by the way. Uh, he was picking up the uh, load for us uh, and then bringing it to us. But when he got there to me, the trailer was correct. He's already knew the trailer number. But the paperwork wasn't the right, wasn't the right, uh, wasn't the right trailer number. And then the seal number was correct on the but the paperwork said it was going to Ohio and it had the wrong trailer. So what happened was, get those old goofy headsets right now, right here. I got a better headset. Garmin got me another one, so I got another one in the back that I'm gonna get fixed up here. <laughs> I'm just using this one for now. I got charged to do it. But uh, so what happened was, and all the fence to the local driver, he went, he requested a trailer number. They gave him the trailer number. He said it was going to Pittsburgh. They said, okay. Gave him a gate pass. He goes and finds it. As he's coming out the gate, they hand him the bills in the envelope. Uh, and then they put the seal on there. Well, the guard messed up and handed him the bills to another trailer. I thought it was that trailer. He put the other load seal on that seal. Now, if I'd have grabbed that paperwork and I'd have took off, we would have had the right freight, but when we got there, the seal number wouldn't match and the paperwork wouldn't match. Or if DOT would have stopped us, we would have had no bill laden and we would have gotten in trouble. So, uh, always check your paperwork. Always check your seal number. Do not rely on another driver to bring it to you. Now, I'm not harping on this driver at all. He did what he was supposed to do. But when you're going out the guard check, you need to check and make sure that the guard is not stiffing you too. So, uh, but you know, you may do it a thousand times and then one time it's wrong. But like I said, the guard messed up on that one. It wasn't the driver. It was the, it was the, the guard that messed up there at Shaw. But what could have been worse is you get the right paperwork and you have the wrong trailer. That's happened where a driver is supposed to be going to uh, Michigan. He gets a load. He gets the right paperwork. And he says, it's going to Michigan. He's I'm good. But the trailer is one digit off, but he's got a load that's supposed to go to Utah. You drive all the way up to Michigan and find out you got tires on the back. You ain't even got the right product. Now you done drove. You done cost your money, your company fuel, time. They may not even pay you because you didn't pick up the trailer they asked you to pick up and you made an honest mistake. Now you don't wait three, four days. It can be bad. So as a new driver, even as a professional driver, check your trailer numbers, check your seal numbers, check your paperwork, and double check, triple check, make sure everything is correct. Sometimes dispatches send you the wrong trailer. If they do, it's on dispatch then. But whatever they say on that Sam Sarah, make sure it all matches up. Now what you're supposed to do if it doesn't, first thing you do is call your dispatch. Say, hey, this ain't right. Send a message on the Sam Sarah. Hey, this trailer number doesn't match. Please advise. It's called CYA. Cover your booty hole. You know what I'm saying? Cover your own self by sending a message on your Sam Sarah, Qualcomm, whatever system. We use the Sam Sarah. That's what that is right there. So even though you talk to your dispatcher, no matter what company you work for, and I don't know how these problems with Rosedale, but I want to make sure that I ain't get a wild dispatcher at my tail that says, oh, I didn't tell him that. I don't know nothing about it. I'm going to cover my own butt. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send a message in that Sam Sarah saying, hey, and I always do this anyway. I'll say, picking up trailer number, blah, 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 headed to blah, blah, blah. And if it's the wrong information, they should have read that and they should have called me back and be like, hey, you got the wrong stuff, Jack. I'm letting them know what I got. So always double check your trailer. Now, in this situation, we had a load that's ready, but we got the wrong bills. Now we don't want to go all the way back down to Atlanta to pick up his load where he picked it up at to get the bills. So uh, I called dispatch. Dispatch says, okay, we're gonna send you some, uh, we're gonna call them, and we're gonna get them to email you the bills. It might be a few hours. We're on a hot load, we gotta go. So, to make it legal, you have to get a, what do you call it, blank bill of lading. Here's one right here. This is one that Rosedale has, all right? I keep some in my truck and I can fill it out. This only happened three times in 15 years. 
but you gotta put make sure you put your company name on there what you're hauling where you're delivering it to the the seal number you got on there and the trailer number and around about an estimate of weight on there that you got on, the, on there so if you get stopped you got now if you don't have any of these trucks you can pick them up at lowe's i oh, not lowe's i say it loves pilot uh ta all the truck stops they sell little booklets of uh, blank bill ladens and you can fill that out until your company sends you the correct information so later on the night i mean tomorrow before i even get it but they'll send me the correct uh paperwork and then what i'll do is i'll stop at loves when they do and you can go inside loves and they have an email address you can email that email to them and they'll print it right out boom so uh it's almost like an email to fax it's real up to date now it only costs a couple dollars and then keep your seat and your company will pay you back for that every dollar counts so make sure you do that but um so the, today's lesson is just make sure that you're paying attention to your trailer numbers your seal numbers you don't want to get the wrong stuff and, and plus it keeps you on your toes and and you know makes you a better truck driver and if you're a better driver you're paying attention you're better you're better for your company your company will make more money and if they're not losing money they can afford to give you raises and all that good stuff so it, it trickle down effect whatever you call it uh but it happens so anyway i hope you got some value from this if you does smash that like button subscribe to my channel and by the way if you're looking for a good job you call rosedale transport they're out of dalton georgia they're number 706-226-1003 they hire right out of school uh, if you have a, uh, a school tuition, they'll pay back, like I said, like $4,000, $4,500, something like that. Ask for Tina. If you're an experienced driver and you've got at least six months experience, they will give you a $4,500 sign-on bonus. You get home every single week. When I say every week, man, you get home every week. You do your 34 hours at home. Why wouldn't you want to do that? I don't want to be out here on the road four to five, six weeks at a time, not seeing my kids. What kind of life is that? Well, you can make the same amount of money. So I'm making good money at home every week. I get consistent miles, 90% drop and hook. I don't like waiting places for hours on end, getting that loaded and stuff. It sucks. Now, do we have live unloads? Yeah, everybody does. Every once in a while, stuff happens. And, you know, they always say the grass grew on the other side. All trucking companies have issues, but it's how they handle their issues, and that's why I like Rosedale. The dispatchers there were truck drivers. The operational manager used to be a truck driver. The safety guy was a truck driver. It just makes sense. If it makes money and it makes sense, I'm all about it. It's Trucking Life with John. Let's get it.